good luck. All right. Um... Yeah, we're going to do more vertical opens. Just because it is such the meme. Alright, so this looks fine on the live stream. I wonder if I zoom in one, does this look better? I like this. Yeah, let's keep this perspective. Oh, you can't see the timer though. I guess we're back to this then. Hmm. Yeah, I need to work on the layout for this page. So it's possible for you to see the timer, but you don't need to see all this stuff. All right. Um. Also, what's oh me call seventeen twenty nine. All right. Well, this is gonna go great. Um. I thought he was strong. I just forgot. Um. Hmm. Oh, we got video. Well, does video fit anywhere? Probably not. Whatever. Oh. Why did I think that would be a word? Void? A void. They took the only vowel on the board. I'm not happy about that. And they played a word that blocked up a lot of the board as well. <sighs> Divot. Um. <laughs> Hmm. It'll work. Um, IV'd as in covered with ivy. Sure. Let's update the stream title while we're at it. Um. Hmm. Genomes. Oh, that's not a bad word. Um. Also, it, uh, it discourages building on the triple lane. Um. All right, I'm trying to build a balanced rack and de-duplicate letters. Um, it's not going well. So we're only down by 40. Um, a bingo does not, in fact, end the game. Can you imagine, though, a mode where the player who gets who uses up all their tiles first just instantly wins the game? <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Um, they would be a whole heck of a lot more chaotic. And a very difficult game to play, because you'd be constantly trying to block any lane that any player could play in. Um, so. Uh, we have 
a tone suffix, but it's not, I don't know any word like E-R-O tone. Baritone. <laughs> Baritone, yeah, right there. That would be beautiful. Uh, milieu. All right, that's a plural form already. That's a great way to dump vowels. Um, all right, so... We have an O and an E. We want to burn an O, E, and then a consonant. Um, I don't suppose this would be any good. F-O is no good. Not sure if that's what I should be doing anyway. Um, I mean, if there's going to be something, it's going to be here, right? Overtone? Okay, we're going to see, do I have overtone? All right, so Farmo. Well, we just need to add Farmo to the dictionary, and we'll be good. Otherwise, we have overtone. <sighs> That's too bad. Um... All right, well, that's 16 points, and does not leave us with the greatest leave. Though we did burn up an O and an E. Uh, we have th four consonants, three vowels, which is the right balance. Um, problem is one of these is a K, so unless we know good K words uh, involving either a T or an E or a G, um, this could be hard. Uh, king. So we've got, oh, well, we have ng, so ing, uh, gronking or something over here. I, I don't think I have a word with a k. Oh, they built a word already. It's my turn again. Um, ah, oh, they used the triple. Is that a triple? Feels like a triple. Yeah, it is. All right. Uh, so if I could land the K on something like dork. Dork could be great. Problem is, um, it's not score that high. And also, uh, the chance of having a bad leave is quite high. So what else could I do? Um, K-I is a word, isn't it? Um... Yeah, there's no magic here. Um, Greek. Sure. It is 30 points to put down the word Greek here. Because it's a double and it puts the K on a double. So uh, the K itself is worth 20 points. Where do we put our X? We've got docs. We've got ox and she. Oh, clever. Wait, does ox farm a word? I seem to remember it being a word. Alright, I'm just making stuff up. Uh, but that would have been cool. Alright, um. Are any of the power squares available to my X? Probably not. All right. 
right, so how can we use the X in a way that he does not also get to use it? We also want to use an O because we have a double O, although that's not so bad. Also, we've got a J. Wait, a J is eight? Since when has a J been as many points as an X? I guess it's always been that way, and I just never noticed. Um... So Lodge Ban is a word. L-O-J is no good. Joe is a word. That's definitely there. That's not the highest scoring way to use the J. Um, the leave is kind of nice. Yeah, that's a good leave. And it blocks the double word score. And also it's very difficult for them to benefit from this J. And I'm hoping they'll open somewhere that I could use the X. Oh my goodness. Wait, no, okay. I misread this as 188. Oh, if I hover over it, it shows minus 33. So I don't even have to do the math. Nice. Um, well, sure, foe's a word. Yeah, I don't know. I think... Get me my pencil, and I'll write it into the dictionary. I do find it curious that somehow this game has netted as many viewers as uh, the other game we were just playing. Um, I guess people find the look and feel of this site kind of exciting. Although, again, I've got to work on the layout of this because I would love to expand the board to occupy more of the screen. Oh, the word I was trying to think of was J-E-U-X. It has a U. That's why I couldn't spell it. So yeah, if I could get a larger board, maybe I'd be happier using this site. Um, wonder what I could do to make this look better. Maybe after the game I'll experiment with that a bit. But yeah, I thought I read 188 to 141, and I'm like, that doesn't seem right. But also, if it is, that's absolutely fantastic. Because given the 400 plus point rating gap, um, the odds of coming anywhere near my opponent's score are quite low. Um, Alright, so PIX is a word. Um, hmm. I don't suppose these are all words. All right, no, none of them are words. Dex, arid, ix. Well, fine. Um, I'm just making stuff up again. There we go, 43 points. You just have to make up enough words and eventually you get it right. Hey look, we've almost evened the score despite going first. Uh, 
Unfortunately, the K has already been played. Otherwise, we could attempt to play Kazoo. Um, now we'd need to get the blank to play Kazoo. Where's the Z gonna go? Over here somewhere, right? Z A is a word. Um, o G is not a word. Yeah, so <laughs> Z A might be my best play, even though it like exposes the Z for them to use. So unless I could use the Z more than triple its value. If there's some other space right next to a power tile, I could maybe use that instead. Um, tanned zoos. Oh, they took my spot. Very well. We could spell zag uh, for almost as many points. Um, <laughs> oh, here we go. You don't see this one every day. Zoid. Yeah. Ooh, we're breaking out the powerful words today. <laughs> uh, the fun things you'll see, uh, like during the course of playing Scrabble with family, they'll insist on using the dictionary and not just will they check your words, but on their turn, they'll be out of ideas and we just allowed open book playing of the game so as they're spending forever reading through the dictionary trying to make up something um at the same time i would be like hey what's in this z section what's in this q section what are all these fun little words that maybe sometime i might get a chance to play there's one zoed i don't remember what it refers to but like it's like next to zoa so yeah that's pretty funny anyway that means i'm in the lead now you know it, it's awful because i don't know my two letter or three letter words uh but my word knowledge is much better than that uh that it's better than it should be given my rating um like I lack all the skills to play competitive Scrabble, but boy, I can play some fun words from time to time. And I guess that's what the game is for me, it's just a chance to show off. Like, I had no idea Zoid would take an S. That's pretty cool. Um, so kudos to him for scoring almost as many points as I did. Uh... D-A-S-T-I-C. No. Alright, so we have two vowels. That's not enough to sp put uh, a bingo there. Instead, minus the N. Yeah. Um, I guess A-D would not be bad. Um, I want to use up an N as well as the D. Uh, if I could use the N and the D, um, we'd be doing okay. Oh, here's how we do it. And. I think this reasonable. I mean, yeah, this opens the triple, but I'm close enough to getting a bingo with several... Well, actually, the one place. I want to get a bingo, is what I'm saying. This is not a solid move, because, like, a lot of letters go after Z-A. Um, but, um, I guess there's already another triple lane open. It sucks that now I have four vowels. So, perhaps it would have made sense for me to stick another letter in front. Uh, so yeah, now I have to figure out... 
something's going to open up after their turn. Maybe I build in the corner here. I don't know how. Mm, it's probably not worth it. Uh, otherwise, where else can I build? Like, the whole freaking board is blocked. Stub? No. Um. Oh. He says, unironically. Alright, so I guess this space is mine. Um. It's not that useful for me. Uh, so how do I score as many points as I can? Um, I don't think Milieu takes an S, but if it does, uh, it's not that many points for me to even use it. Uh, yeah, this is, that's a terrible leave. Um, so, we're up by two, we have a P, OPIC, O-P-I-C, Stu OPIC, no, um, let's see, what other things can we have a C? We don't have ATIC. We have OTIC. But, like, yeah, there's no way there's a bingo there. On the other hand, a P, Zap, and whatever I build here could be nice. But they're going to take that, so... What else can I play? Um, PLO something. No, this is not good. Just opens the triple, don't do that. Um, uh, where else could I go? Um, I guess getting rid of the U could be a next objective. Cop. This is not a good move, but uh, I just want there to be somewhere fun to play a word. This board is so very not bingo friendly. Um, AG. Yeah, if I knew like S T A G E, but I don't know any prefix that would go there. Um. It's been an interesting game so far. Pub? I don't know. Pun? Pin? Pin? Pin is not bad. I want to get rid of the U because I want to have a bingo, but it's still unlikely that I have a bingo on this board. DE is nice. Maybe there is something with the DE somewhere in the middle of it and nine letter bingo. Um, I don't know my nines. Yeah, I, I'm struggling to find anywhere else I could use my U and my P put, but um, IV'd with a U is not a word. Um, so what separates like masters and experts and such in chess is just consistency. And in Scrabble there is a element of random chance, so there is the possibility, however remote, that I could win a game. Um, on the other hand, likely our opponent has the cue, or the blank, 
or both, which is why this is so confusing for them. <sighs> but Q-U-A-G would not be bad for them. I should block that. But what could I put there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any good word to take the spot. Like, I could put S-T-A-G, but that's leaving me with a very terrible leave. That's not worth it. Um, uh, this is Woogles. This is Woogles.io. Uh, it might bear some resemblance to familiar games, but no, this is Woogles, and I'll try to refer to it as such. Also, this is Mikal uh, demonstrating his strength at this game. He's going to prevail despite my luck. So, um... Oh, we have poor here, don't we? No, B-U is not a word. P-O-U-R would be nice. It does not fit. Um... Hmm. Well, I'm still hoping they don't take my spot here, because if they do, I'm screwed. We see just how difficult it is for me to find a word. I could shuffle this. I'm not going to find anything. Episodic. A postule or something, I don't know. Opiates. <laughs> I can't spell any of the words correctly. Well, we still got our opponent thinking, or I've disconnected. Yeah, I'm still thinking, like, something like pen. Uh, I can't fit any of the P words right there. Oh, idea. Ooh, that has me scared. They burned up two vowels. Um, I don't suppose this is valid, right? Zat is not valid, so I need, like, tup? Okay, tup is valid. I burned up you know, U and my P. Maybe I should have held on to the T. Maybe up would have been a better play than Tup. Um, but yeah, I was so excited about using up the, key, uh, the U and the P. There's one U remaining. There's a Q and a blank. So this could go sour. Uh, we have noisy plus EA. Um, which is not going to produce a bingo. If I'd held on to the T, maybe I'd have some chances with the T and a C. But who knows? I was fishing to try to get the blank here. Or the U. 
if I got the remaining U, I'm not sure what I would have done next. Um, so my guess is that my opponent is holding a QU and is waiting for the right moment. Which is just the classic American way to play the game. Um, it's just continue holding on to letters and pretend that something's going to radically change the game. And then when it doesn't, uh, complain that you got the wrong letters. Um, that's one way to play. A lot of people do it. Um, so yeah, I should somehow be careful about the possibility of them playing a Q. Okay, so he's played Lib, possibly making a Glib or other extension here. We still have not seen the Q appear. Um, so... Um, this feels like a reasonable thing to do. OL and NIF are both not valid. All right, shows what I know, right? Uh, what else can we do? I mean, clearly he's building... Does he have a G? No, he does not. What else could go before a lib, I wonder? Not a whole lot. The blank could go there, but... It's unlikely that there is a 8 ending in O. Um, yeah, where could I put my Y? Where could I put the Y that would not suck? I mean, this is not terrible. It does have an obvious defect in that, like, QAT could be played right below it. Um, I don't know if he... The odds of him having a QAT are very high here. Um, so I do need to account for that. Um... I mean, where else could uh, the Y go? Oh, I'm picking up a word from Word Freak here, am I not? Um, well, it is playable. Oh, I don't like that. Um, oh, here we go. <laughs> That's a way to play a word from Word Freak. Definition is something that's not Twitch TOS appropriate. Uh, so look that one up in Webster at your convenience. We did successfully steal the blank. Which is nice because there's an open C. Um, yeah. So now we just need to find some word that has a C in the middle of it, which might not be so easy. Um, I have three vowels, three consonants, and a blank. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Also, very likely my opponent is going to build something vertically, and I'll have to build across it. But in case they don't, I should consider... Uh, scale? Scale? Cell? I don't know words that end in C. Shuffle. Oh, here we go. Any seven letter word. Uh, cleanse. Uh, L-I-N-E. Aceline. 
Uh, easel? No. Something like that work? All right. Um, L-I-N-E is a very strong suffix. Anneals. <sighs> Does not fit here. Four tiles in bag. I see. Sealant. Ah. Uh. Sea line? No. All right. What the hell? Baseline. Mm. Baseline would be it. Um. Lane. Relearns. Good enough. Oh, dear. Uh, so that was worth 66 points. Um... But they have the Q. We know all their letters now. This is not the greatest assortment of letters. Thankfully, they do... Well... Uh, I probably should have thought, like, Q, A... They thankfully can't... Okay, we just win. Nice. <sighs> Good game. Wow. Alright, that takes their rating down. And mine up. But not for long. Wow, yeah, good game. I played the my best game of the year. It, my play does not get any better than this. Um, yeah. In particular, uh, the funniest play I played this game. Uh, there it is. Don't... Don't try to define this one. You'd have to look it up in Webster, and its definition I don't think fits Twitch TOS, but... Uh, yeah, that was a good one to find. You had treasury here! Oh no. You had... treasury. Uh, I sensed that you were trying to do something. Like, for several turns in a row it looked like you were trying to get a bingo. With a couple letters here, a couple letters there. Uh, I just need to play an R for you to get treasury in here. Yeah. So I noticed like you were playing two letters, two letters, etc. at a time. So I was very cautious about not opening big lanes in the center of the board. Um, so I played against my normal style where I just like generally open everything. Uh, this is a much more closed sort of game. Let's play it, look at it from the beginning so I can see your perspective. Okay. Okay, what's the analyzer say about this one? Fragments or something? Frag? Frame? Farm? Femme? Alright, there's nothing. Farm is a very good play. IV is a nice rejoinder. We have... Okay, what got played? Genomes? Yeah, genomes is very strong. Is there any other fun word? I just feel like with this rack, there's got to be a lot going on. So... <laughs> Epigio... I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh... Mon... I don't know how to... Mongeese. As in, like, mongoose, but plural? Uh, Eringos? I, I don't know any of these words, but this felt like the sort of rack that, like, a lot of esoteric words could be played on. Igesian? Genoizes? 
All right, so what's the top play? This one? So the top play at least does not hit both doubles, which would require a nine. Um, so yeah, your word is as good as anything else here, really. Uh, so many fun suggestions. Ooh, gee. Uh, wait. O-O-G-E-N-I-E-S. Um, that feels like a Greek word. Like, this is like genus or something. O-O-Genes, I think, has to do with, like, how something evolves. Congees. Pongees. Genomes. Genomes is on the top, along with everything else, but a lot of fun words here. <laughs> Ooh, genies. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not... The only reason I'm playing through this list here is just because it felt like with the blank on this board, anything is possible. Uh, yeah, genomes is just as good as anything else, although it leaves open possibility of playing atop that. But you need the right letter, don't you? And you didn't have it. Uh, you have a double E, so priority should be get rid of... Well, double E is not the worst thing. U is not the great letter. M is not a great letter, so priority should be like playing M and U. Uh, you played the U. Got rid of a lot of vowels. But uh, the M is going to make it hard for you to bingo again. So, my preference would have been to play something involving the M and the U. Um, if it doesn't score a whopping nine points. What does this thing suggest? Oh! What suggests is this one, milieu, uh, leaving I-M-E. Uh, the way you played it used up an I. Uh, okay. Why does it recommend this one first? I don't understand. What you played looks perfectly reasonable to me. Um, and what this tool does generally... Oh, this one I like. I kind of like the double E leave. Um, so why does it not suggest your thing? I don't know. Oh, here it does. Yeah, so the equity of an E-M. I don't... Uh, it's hard to find all these words anyway. But, yeah, I guess I-M-E might have a better equity than E-M. Uh... Oh, there's a plural of milieu. Okay. That's good to know. Um... So, okay, how badly did I play here? Oh, okay, I missed Rotanun. How did I miss Rotanun? Oh no. I missed Rotanun again. Wait, what? Wait, this is a word. I thought this was an operating system. Apparently the operating system is named after something. <laughs> Alright, well that's cool. Um, Enro, that would be nice. This is a nice, yeah, this has been good. So I missed Rotanone. I missed Ob. What did I play? What did I play? I played something. Doesn't matter. Glen O E suffix. Okay, so. I played voter, using up all my good letters. Okay, so I got lucky that I got additional good letters. Voter was a terrible play, even though it scored 16. Um, uh, it did try to open the board, but this is not... I mean, Rotanone was the way to open the board. These other plays that were suggested were also reasonable ways to open the board. Um, like Enrobe, 
That one's a hard one to find. Um, are there other fun ways to open the board, or does everything else close it? Note? Note is playable. Um, this way I still have ERO, which is really good. Tone? Also up there. Yeah, so my voter play did not help open the board as much as this might have. Um, unless I have an S. But statistically, my opponent should have more S's than I have right now. So, Because I have none. And there's three in the bag, so there's a very good chance they have one. And there it is. So... How do you play the S? Kleins. That would have been nice. Uh, mule. Swim. Ouch. Ouch! Uh, yeah. Yeah, climbs would have been the way to do it. Assuming you don't see climbs, swim is very good. Masic. Basically anything using the S. Uh, it's good for me to know now that Milieu accepts an S. So my voter allowing another S hook is not so terrible. Uh, but anyway, the game continued with we, which is a lot of points. Um, but yeah, apparently swim is more and um, climbs is also more. Actually, I'm not so sold on climbs. Uh, how bad is the leave after swim? CEL. With what's still in the bag. Is CEL a bad combination of letters to have? Yeah, they don't really jive well with what's still in the bag. So, I know the, the bot isn't really based on considering what's still in the bag in combination with these. But most of these don't seem to go very well with CEL. I mean, you might get Excel, but um, yeah, the W leave is better than the C leave. Uh, this would have been good. Plus, you still have the WE play, assuming I don't take it. And since I'm a noob, there's a good chance I might not take it. Um, but where else could the W go next turn, I wonder, if this E gets taken? I guess you were trying to block this spot and banking on me not having an S um, after I just played four letters trying to fish for it. Yeah. It makes sense. Um, maybe your play was actually best. So, yeah, I just played a reasonably high-scoring play, although I could not take the corner. Here, definitely... Well, okay. First, there might be some other silly play here. No, there's not. You missed Vermeils. Vermeils? Yeah. I'm not sure how you missed Vermeils. Like, Clevis? Uh, climbs, Masic, etc. Um, Alright, so... What did I miss? Because I played Joe. Joe is fine, but they're better. It's like... Oh my god. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Okay, it pays to know your plurals. Holy crap. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, milieu is a French word, and French words can take an X sometimes. That is good. That is just punishing uh, your hubris for taking the W, for playing clever, for trying to do all this stuff to block access to the triple letter. This would have been the way to punish it. Oh dear, that would have been so awesome. That would have probably prompted resignation. You're like, uh, I, okay, I'm done here. No, all right, but uh, yeah, this would have been cool. I don't know what that means. 
Donjon. Axe. Oh, Axe I could have found. Let's spend more time looking. Oak so. That's a good one to know. Although the X lands off of the triple letter. But yeah, you were trying to block access to the triple letter scores and also use up some of the double word scores. So it makes sense. It's just milieu with an X it would have been amazing. All right. You didn't play a bingo. There probably isn't one. But in case there is, what was it? Astigmia. That would have been cool. <laughs> Wait, you're trying to throw bad letters, like V. Uh, yeah, okay. Point taken. Um, again, there might have been some ways to do it while using the S down here. I guess you're trying to build for a bingo, and that's why you're holding on to the S. And yeah, this does use up the V and the C, and does use a triple word score. See, I can't really fault it at all. Yeah, I have to take back what I said earlier. This is a good way to try to build toward a bingo. Because another fun way to play Scrabble is just to try to build bingos. And um, just kind of not pay so much attention to the score. Um, so getting rid of the V and the C does make a lot of sense. Yeah, you saw stamina. Yeah. This is beautiful, though. You did succeed in getting rid of the uh, those scoring tiles, but um, I guess A as a prefix, I guess, has to be remembered. You're still, most of the time, not going to find astigmia, because, like, that looks like a really hard thing to find with the G right in the middle, but... Yeah, if you have all the one letter or one point tiles, you did spend some time trying to find stuff. I can't, it, I wouldn't have found it. Ama, uh, what else could have been played, I wonder? Yeah, that's not easy to find. Aim, aim is good. Because that does use a triple and does score the M twice. Um, Ami over, ooh, I don't know if I like this. I don't know what prefixes can be used in front of AMI. Uh, but this does use the M twice also. Um, so, yeah, you, from doing this particular hook, uh, you got two extra points out of the E and the R. And you did get to score the A twice, but there were other ways you could have played this. Um, so... I guess that's the point, just like use the M multiple times, but you're focused on just trying to balance your rack and trying to open the board because oh, you're actually up. Never mind. Uh Panda. Oh, I missed Panda. How about X Panda? Alright. Axon Apex. Wait, we looked at this just a second ago. I played Apex. Oh, I was so proud of it. But yeah, Axon would have been godly. Alright, do we have like Bicuspid or something stupid? No. Oh, wow. Oh, that's sad. That's so sad that the U somehow ruins this. Uh, So yeah, you've got <laughs> the second best play burns up the S just because. Uh, I mean, you're still ahead. Uh, Scooty? Yeah, this doesn't score so many because Milieu's not worth many points to begin with, but that would have been nice. Um, oh, you played CAD. Wait, so this means I have a play here, doesn't it? No, I don't have an I. Alright. I joked if I had a K, I could try to build kazoos. Um. Oh, wait. Wait. Zoid was one of the top plays. I was so proud of it. It was the top play by a wide margin. Uh, nice. 
Where is Zoa play? Oh, here it is. Zona? Azon? Yes, okay, this is just the exact right word and right place to put the Z and... Yeah, okay, double it and double double it. And... We saw Bush and Zoids. Um, yeah, probably we're gonna see, like, Milieu, etc. here, right? No, Bush is the top play. Hubs, huts, whatever. It's all, uh, you're using the H and the U as the point. You have a decent leave. Uh, I played and. Okay, what kind of stuff did I miss? Oh. I played the top play here. Because I was just trying to burn, or use the Z again. Um, and try to use up my D because it's my highest scoring tile. Uh, yeah. I played the top play. Holy moly. Alright. Um, yeah, this is a tough rack here, too. Somehow you missed Toluide. Not sure how you missed that. High would have been good. DUI. I did not know that this meant something. Like, I know it's an acronym, but DUI apparently is also uh, TOLU. TALUIC. This would have been nice because it blocked what I ended up playing in the game. But, um, yeah, anyway, we played O. Which has a lot of points, but yeah, you still got stuck with the U. It's hard to find all these words. <sighs> yeah, I guess the way I played ended up blocking a lot of the board. Um, so... Yeah, Bush was the top play, backing up again. Amy was a good play, but, um, yeah, Amy or AIM or finding these other plays that leave parts of the board still open for exploration might be useful. Um, you were ahead here, though, so it's, I can't really fault you for closing the board or making it difficult to play. And this is a very high-scoring play as well. Um... See, so yeah, you're ahead at this point. Zooid or Zoid was good. Bush was the top play. So, yeah, it was just a very unfortunate draw of letters. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, yeah, you had some crazy high scoring opportunities at other points in the game, but. Um, uh, this is mostly just you getting screwed by the bag. Uh, Lutein, Owlick, etc. Well, I mean, if you could find all the 7s and 8s and stuff like that, that would be amazing. Um, but yeah, you got all the U's, and then you got the Q afterward, which is not great. Um, I spent a while here and eventually came up with um, top. No, I that top was my play. Um, yeah, idea. This surprised me. Uh, is it a high scoring play? I mean, yeah, there's other stuff. You know all the words, but exchange IU is one of the top plays. So exchange IU scores higher than idea. Uh, that's a rough spot. So, yeah, finding any of this, I don't know how you're supposed to find any of these things. Um, igloo. <laughs> igloo is a good one for us to know in the future. And it's a great way to get opponents to challenge your play. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, you just got a very unfortunate 
set of draws after missing some crazy eight uh, letter words. Um, was there a chance to come back here? No. Lib. Yeah, and then I played this, and this just sealed it. Um, so, A-Y. Joey. Oh, that's interesting. That's a way to try to fight back. Y-A over here. What got played? Trey. Yeah, that's good. Relearns. Uh, yeah, okay. What? Scalene. Oh, this would have been nice. I was trying to find something up here. Uh, Spelian. Scalene would have been so nice. And... Uh, that would have been a great way to end it. I missed it. There's all these words that start with an R. At least I found one of them. Renewals is apparently the top thing that comes to. So this like makes it difficult to play next to uh, the W. Or at least you can't put a high scoring tile next to it. Realness. Just put all the consonants right next to the triple. Or all these candidates here. Instead I put a vowel next to it because I didn't find any of that. But good enough. Um, hmm. I see. So, yeah. Oh, let's see. Any further ideas here? Um, yeah, your tiles are so unfortunate. Oh, yeah, and there were no tiles left in the back, so that's a valid point as well. Um, so, yeah, good game.